but we're just gonna get right into it because I just feel like it's necessary, I guess. So, um, I don't even know where to start, honestly. I can start off by saying I'm really not crazy at all. I'm not toxic. None of that. But like, clearly y'all seen the video that I uploaded. My eyelashes like everywhere. Clearly y'all see that the video that I uploaded about my new girlfriend or whatever. And my boyfriend happened to find out and I lied, basically. Told him it wasn't true, whatever, but obviously the video was like right there. Like he's seen it for himself. And then he just left. Like no sign, like no notice, no warning, no nothing. He was like, oh, I'm gonna go hang out with my friends or whatever. And he never came back. Basically, literally, that's all there is to it. But like, I don't understand. Like, you're a god. So why wouldn't you, like, why wouldn't you be okay with your girlfriend having a girlfriend? Like, it's, it's, it's better that way than your girlfriend having another boyfriend, right? Like, I just don't get it personally. Like, I don't see any problem with it. She's a girl. But, like, I really just want you to come back home where you belong. Because you belong with me. And, like, I know, you, I know you're not cheating on me. I know he's not gonna. But, like, why not just come back home? Like, it's not that hard. Like, just forgive me. Like, just accept the fact that I want you and I want her. And that's that. Because, like, the days that he's busy, I can be with her. The days that she's busy, I can be with him. Like, it's not that hard. Like, I don't understand, like, what the big deal is. Like, she's okay with it. Like, she's perfectly fine with it. But then, he's not. And I, don't, I honestly don't understand why. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. Like, that, it, it, that's a thing, right? I'm pretty sure it's a thing. Like, it's not bad. And then he wanted to argue and say that what I did was wrong. I don't think it's wrong that I didn't ask you first. That I just went ahead and did what I wanted to do. I didn't scream at you. I kind of threatened you a little. Yeah, I pushed you around a little. Put my hands on you a little. But I swear I'm not toxic. I just did it because I thought you would stay. And you said you would stay. That you would just go to chill off. And then you never came back. He never came back. And I'm pretty sure he's not going to watch this video. But I hope you do so you can see how truly sorry I am about putting my hands on you and doing all being all extra and throwing your stuff outside and threatening to pop your tires and all the other stuff i'm sorry for that but like at the end of the day your home is with me and you know that so like i guess i understand why you can't just accept the fact that i want both of you like i just want you to come home and I'm sorry for putting my hands on you. Sorry for threatening you. I'm sorry for trying to push you out the window. If you want me to be completely honest with everything that I did, if that'll make you feel better to come back home, then I'll put it out there. But I will not say sorry for wanting both of you. Because it's it's a thing. Like, I don't understand. Like, it's a thing. So, like, just, like, accept it. Come back home. And I'll be with you all the time. But, like, when you're busy, I'm going to be with her. And when she's busy, I'm with you. You will never see each other. Maybe. If I want not to. Okay, I had to get in the car because, like, yeah. I had somewhere to go. But, like, as I was saying, like, I'm really not fucking toxic. And it just blows my fucking mind how, like, 
this this guy like really has the audacity to get up and leave like now that i keep just thinking about it like it's gonna be more mad and more fucking frustrated because like my guy just come back and stay figure it out well we'll figure this shit out together and what's done is done like i'm not leaving her you promised me you weren't leaving me so at the end of the day you don't have a choice but to come back home and figure it out figure it us out because you're not going anywhere like if you really think you are going somewhere you're really not like you got me all the way fucked up because <laughs> you're really not leaving you're really not going anywhere and i promise you that like it's just so baffling how you really think that you can just tell me that you're not going that you're going somewhere and then you don't fucking come home and it's been like two days and i wasn't gonna take this to the internet but it's just the audacity of you not coming home and as you can see i'm in your fucking car because obviously you didn't take your car so you have to be with somebody else i'm not saying you're cheating because i know you're not cheating because you it, it's you you're not but like you just have to come home so we can figure this out and get it over it like i'm with lexi and i'm with you and you or lexi can't have nobody else so like yeah well not y'all yeah, specifically you have to just get over it because at the end of the day nigga you're not going anywhere like you're really not and that's just the whole point of this because you're not going anywhere and i just wanted to give you guys an update on why i posted that video on tiktok and why like i'm going fucking crazy because he's not with me i don't know where the fuck he's at but i'm literally gonna stay in the house all day just waiting for you to come home because there's shit in the house that you you need so sooner or later you are gonna come home so i hope you see this video so you can see that i'm truly sorry and i'm not fucking crazy and i just put my hands on you to make you stay and it worked because you said you were coming back i'm not abusive i'm not no red flag i'm not toxic i'm just a girlfriend that loves her boyfriend so much that she wants him to come home so we can fix this and we can all three be a happy family like it's not that hard okay so once you see this babe baby my life my all my everything my world just come home, okay? I love you.